Hey everyone, welcome back to another Scoop of the Crispy. We are playing Unfinished Swan. I have a hose, and I'm spraying water everywhere, and the vines are growing where the water is being sprayed. We are trying to find an unfinished swan, like literally, we really are trying to. We're chasing after a swan that has a neck that's missing. By, by doing, what we're doing is we're spraying these vines, and then Monroe, this young child person, could grab onto these vines like a crazy good Tarzan creature like this. Wow. We're trying to get to that airship. So, and we we're following these goose tracks. Swan tracks. For some reason, the swan leaves tracks conveniently where we need... What? Oh, crap. Part 6, the bell tower. Uh-oh. Even half finished, the creature had no trouble swallowing up uh. all the king's soldiers, half his zoo, and three peppermint gazebos. It was only with the help of his pet hippo and the giant that the king was able to force it into the sea. And though the water remained black for years after, the creature was never seen again on shore. Oh. Mm -hmm. Looks like we know who the end bad guy is going to be. Okay, how do I get out of here? Ah. Come on. Here, climb. Climb, Monroe. Climb. For the love of climbing, climb. There we go. Open it up. And a chair fell down. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Haha. -ha. All right, up and at him. Through that window, right there. Okay, come here, Vines. Let's do this. Let's go. There's the airship. And some more story. Within a short time, the king's subjects had all moved away, except the giant, who was quite loyal and also very lazy. He just didn't want to leave. He's like, where am I going to go? I just don't know where I'm going to go, so I'm just going to stay here. Oh, shoot. There's the swan. Oh, the swan. Okay, ready? Do it. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was going to be cooler. There it is, the airship. And let's look around here. Ooh, look at the city. Look at all the vines that we grew. Look at the little pathway. That's so fun. My balloon dar says that there's a balloon somewhere. Very close. We've got to find it. Fine, whatever. Forget it. Let's just go. Hop on the balloons. Careful. And away we go. Whee! Monroe waved goodbye to the giant and set sail. But no matter how fast he went, the swan was always just out of reach. Swan! And not for the first time that day, Monroe suspected he was being led somewhere. See the duck? Then they flew into a cloud... And everything went black. Ah, oh, crap. Loading screen. And there we have it, folks. Trophy, yo. That will do it for Chapter 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed 
unfinished one. Tune in next time as we continue on with Chapter 3. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again on the next Scoop of the Crispy.